Hey guys, welcome back. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, hey, we maybe, possibly, maybe, potentially, perhaps, possibly, possibly, maybe have the title for Star Wars Episode Nine. If you care, if you, <laughs> yeah. for those of you who still care. Yes. Now, what happened here exactly? Uh, what happened was on Reddit, somebody leaked that they were digging around in the code on the Star Wars dot com website, and they found a graphic for a a purple logo that says balance of the force december 20th now you know that's an awful lot of effort for for lucas film to go to to make a graphic and bury it in the code in the way that they did and it's also interesting well for a couple of reasons one uh the graphic is purple it is uh red and blue together the the graphic for uh the force awakens i believe was blue i think or are we talking jedi and sith i'm sorry we're talking jedi and sith um it wasn't it was yellow it was yellow for The Force Awakens. It was red for Last Jedi. Um, but the lightsaber colors, we could have, you know, That's blue, what I was red lightsaber is purple. Balance of the Force. I've been hearing Balance of the Force as a potential Star Wars title for years. Yeah, this is nothing new. Years. And it makes sense if they're going to end the Skywalker saga because the whole purpose of the prequels was to set up the prophecy of the Chosen One. To bring balance to the Force. Who would bring balance to the Force, but they killed everybody. Yeah. So what? Raise the chosen one. She's gonna bring balance to the force now. It would be, it would be Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren's gonna bring balance to the force. Um, I don't know. There it is. <laughs> I don't, yeah. It's coming now, whether door. it's true or not, we don't know. I think it's but a ninety-five percent probability that it's true. We've heard this many times for other movies. It's a title they've been planning on using, or they've said they might use many times. Revenge of the Sith originally was gonna be balance of the force, but I mean, it makes sense. It would save it for what's supposed to be the last. The last episode of the Skywalker saga, um, which brings us to another another point that even Forbes is saying that episode nine is a lame duck mm -hmm. in the Star Wars saga. Meaning, if you're familiar with a lame duck uh, presidency, um, that means that the president's just kind of riding out uh, his time until the next president comes in. We've said before, and we said in multiple videos, that it doesn't seem like Disney is really uh, pushing sequel trilogy related stuff no they keep now. going back all their new stuff like the comics and the books and things and their park are, are kind of tying into the original trilogy mm -hmm. they're all kind of like backing and like when you look at them well this took place right around the original trilogy before after during like all their stuff's going back to the original trilogy um their animated stuff is going to the original trilogy you know they just keep going back to the original yeah, and they know where the money is, right? Yeah, people like that one. They know where the money is, even in the parks. Uh, you know, I had people sending me um, um, photos on Twitter from Disneyland, and they've got, you know, the parks. It's all original trilogy. And on the rides, in both in California and Florida, they took out the Last Jedi sequence, and they replaced it with the original oh, did they? trilogy sequences in the prequel uh, sequel trilogy. And aren't they do But they all end up in Batuu now at the end, because that's where they're ending no. it. For, they took, didn't have the Batuu no. thing in the end? Oh, nope. they were. Nope. They went um, back to the, the original uh, films. Well, I was yeah. very happy that last time we were there, I got myself an Ewok yes, from the original trilogy. Because I love Ewoks. I do not like Porgs. They're both annoying furry things. But Ewoks are just a lot better because they, they can they can kick ass and they do it with cuteness. Porgs can get eaten. Porgs get eaten. I'm sure Ewoks, Ewoks could, kick ass. Ewoks could probably get eaten too, but they might be a little gamey. I don't know. But they, uh. I mean, at the end of the day, they're, 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 they're drumming on the, the helmets of their defeated enemies. I am right? like, you know what? Ewoks are cute and furry and they kick ass. So anyway. Yub nub, bitches. Yes, <laughs> Yub nub. That's going to be our new battle cry here at uh, Clownfish TV. That's we'll right. just, we'll hit you with rocks and scream yub nub. <laughs> um, that's what we're going to do. But no, when you've got Scott Mendelson, who is a fierce defender of the last Jedi coming out and saying, yeah, this one might be, it might just be a lame duck. It seems to me like Disney knows the sequel trilogy at this point. They screwed up the middle so badly. There's like no place else to go. And Ken, that was so, how do you screw this up so badly? All you do is you sit down with, you know, and you say, here's, we're going to have this movie about this, this movie about this, and this movie about this. Go with it. You know, here's a, oh, here's a, you know, that'd be Kathleen Kennedy because she was overseeing it. There should have been some general plot through all three. No, nah, just make it up as they, they go. They meant it. They said Ryan yeah. Johnson kind of didn't, he had to make it up because he didn't really have, he didn't know what Abrams was doing. And I'm like, why didn't you, what? Biggest what? science fiction franchise on earth and you wing it. The only reason they probably did it what? because Lucas kind of did that somewhat when he did the originals, but same guy 
and he still had an over. He still had an idea of where he was going with it. Yeah. Same guy doing all three. So you know. And they were breaking new ground. They, right. They, there, there wasn't really any established canon or anything. There weren't really any expectations. That's a different. Uh, it's saying. a totally different thing. It's not the same thing. You yeah. can't just wing it like that now. It just doesn't work. But I'm like, balance of the force. You're wrapping up the Skywalker saga. You've killed all the Skywalkers. Except for uh, Well, Kylo Leia, is still, Leia is still alive. Uh, via, In the movie. Yeah, via via stock footage, via cut cut footage. I mean, they, they, really, they really had no control over that. That no. wasn't their fault. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm like, I don't know how they, I think Disney, I'm really getting the vibe they know this is not going to do well. I'm seeing all the signs of... of Because by now, we probably would have at least seen a teaser. It was a year and a half before The Force Awakens came yeah, out. Yeah, I'm sure they're saving it for Celebration, but that's really late. That's kind of cutting it close. Mm -hmm. They did this with Solo, too. They didn't seem to have a lot of faith in Solo, and they waited until, like, three months before... Yeah, they waited too long on Solo. And... Um, this, you know, it just feels like with them going back to the original trilogy, the the ancillary media, and and you know, in the theme parks and everything, it just feels like they're not they're not feeling it. I don't think they're feeling it. I think I think they're going to get over and done with. Yeah. Well, here's the article though, so let's take a look at the article. Yeah, coming from Scott Mendelson. Now he does talk about the. Uh, oh, that's a little trippy. Yeah, that's a little trippy. Right. Um, he does talk about the, the shareholder call. With shareholder call with Bob. We could have yeah. been on the call. Couldn't we we could have. We actually do. We, 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 we just never do it, we, but we did. <laughs> but they, first of all, they were excited because they said they were going. They are going to continue to make R-rated movies because of Deadpool and the titles they're going to be gaining. So everybody was talking about that, of course. Um, but then they're talking about. Uh, Star Wars. I wasn't, you know, going on here. Celebration, and um, you know, we didn't get. They're talking about the title release. I, I expect there will be a trailer at Celebration. Um, but they said, yeah, no matter how it performs in December, Disney will face the same challenge. How does it make general audiences care about Star Wars movies that aren't explicitly connected to those first three Star Wars movies? and aren't explicitly tied to the saga of the Skywalker family. Rogue One and George Lucas prequels were, well, prequels, the first three Star Wars movies, and the last three Disney episodes were 30 years later sequels to Return of the Jedi, complete with uh, Harrison Ford, Hamill, and Fisher. That's where he went. That's why he went to see you know, Force Awakens. Like, oh my gosh, we got them all. Yay, you know, that's why I went. Yeah, after this, presuming Disney really does give Ryan Johnson his own disconnected trilogy, I don't think they're going to, and they let the Game of Thrones guys make their own Star Wars movies to say nothing of Jon Favreau's Mandalorian, blah, blah. Which also takes place in the original trilogy uh, timeline. Go ahead. Yeah, what they're worried about is what do they do? If they wrap up the Skywalker saga, what's next? And I don't know if anybody cares. Well, as I said, to what extent do folks come to The Force Awakens because it promised Hamill, Ford, and Fisher? Yeah. That's why I was excited. That was it. I mean, people, you gave people what they wanted, and no, you didn't. You teased that those three would be on screen. They need to put them together. And and at least have a, a couple of scenes together. And you freaking pulled the football away by not having, well, by killing off Han Solo, okay? And then by not having uh, Luke interact with the other two. Mm -hmm. And it was just a complete waste. This is why a lot of even casual moviegoers are pissed off, I think, about The Force Awakens or about the, the sequel trilogy in general. They're like, why should we care? We don't have Han, Luke, and Leia. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, to, to many people, Star Wars is Han, Luke, and Leia. Right. And we don't have Han, Luke, and Leia. We never will have them again. Uh, you know, <laughs> you killed off. You killed off Han Solo and Luke Skywalker and Carrie Fisher is dead in real life. It's it's done. You you scrubbed out. You scrubbed. Yeah. You you blew it. You got to the Super Bowl and you freaking blew it. Laces out. <laughs> Laces out. <laughs> so since episode nine will barely close the book on the Skywalker solo story that began in seventy seven, Disney must go back to the proverbial drawing board no matter how well this ninth Star Wars episode performs. We knew that in twenty nineteen and beyond merely offering a relatively high quality mega buster mega, mega budget, budget sci-fi box office bust <laughs> sci-fi fancy action or isn't enough to get people in the theater so without ties to vader without uh the the original trilogy characters what do what will folks still consider star wars we don't know and i don't i don't know if anybody's going to care um i don't know if anybody's gonna care you i, I mean i really don't you look at solo i mean it was han solo but nobody cared um yeah you know i, know. I mean I, know. <laughs> I don't know I don't know. I mean, maybe if they went to like a Knights of the Old Republic or something. I don't know. I think after episode nine, I think Disney's basically going to get episode nine out of the way and then Star Wars. 
I honestly think the best. I honestly think the best thing for them to do is just put it on hiatus for well. They're saying 10 years. if they're going to have to be on hiatus anyway because they they're going to be working on Avatar so much, they're probably going to alternate Star Wars and Avatar at Christmas. So they're going to have to wait until Avatar is out. So they mm. said it could be like 2022 until they have to do something. And then they said um, about how they, that they were three years apart and they stopped yeah. doing that. They and rushed I them. think they, that they, was they, a problem. That was a huge problem. It wasn't like you know you can do with uh, the MCU. You can't do a movie two or three a year or one you know every other year. You Star Wars you, it doesn't work. It doesn't mm. work. So um, go ahead. What were you going to talk about? No, there's nothing to talk about. Like I, 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 he's he's absolutely right in the fact that the episode nine is is a lame duck movie and i think disney knows it they're already banking on the original trilogy they know they're tying everything into the original trilogy they know now. and i think if, if they knew that the last jedi was going to uh uh anger as many people as it did they would not have banked um on the sequel trilogy for the star wars expansion and the mm -hmm. theme parks it would have gone back they probably would have built like an echo base or something you know and banked I don't know on why it didn't i mean people you know you're always going to get the classic fans you know at the heart yeah that was kind of a, a miscalculation i think they're they saw the success of the force awakens they saw the the generally positive you know audience reaction to the force awakens and they got carried away and they're like wow this is this is the ticket everybody loves the, this new trilogy let's base everything and on that's this ours, new trilogy. so we can do whatever we want and it's ours so. we can do whatever we want and right. then here comes the last jedi and uh, they just took a piss in your cheerios i mean it's still gonna do well because again people don't really care that much uh, for for Avatar, but they still go to the theme parks. I, I'm sorry, I thought you were gonna say, but you know, if they had to do Last Jedi again, I was thought you were saying they wouldn't hire Ryan Johnson. <laughs> they wouldn't. Have. I, I, that was the biggest single biggest mistake. And it wasn't just they hired Ryan Johnson. It wasn't just they didn't have a plan. It was that Ryan Johnson attacked the fans, and and he keeps trying to deny that he did. I'm like, dude, there's screen captures he, of tweets. There's something he say before. There was quote to him saying that he likes to make polarizing films. Yeah. What did you expect there was, him to do? There was a video of him from film film school saying he he would love to make movies where half the audience walks out of the theater loving it and half the other half hates it like success success dude. and success. he did it congratulations with, on your success with the largest science fiction franchise in history yeah and uh you know that's great if you want to make some kind of artistic statement i don't think the bean counters at disney share your enthusiasm no, but i mean i give him i'll give him a, i'll give him a clap for reaching his personal goals there you go you get a clap god uh your personal goals so good luck with that i hope you uh, I hope the money um, so I, I, you have it invested because I don't I don't think they're going to be calling you back. I really don't. So okay. Anyway, so yeah, anyway, this up. we're going to wrap this up. So the title may or may not be true. May or may not be Balance of the Force. Uh, probably. I I'm going to be honest. Probably, I would say there's a, like a ninety percent chance. No, wait, I don't know. This it's, is it's, legit. It's, you know, it's weird that someone just could find it like that. But you know. Well, no, not if you dig in the code. And yeah, it's it, it makes. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, they wouldn't have. Yeah, it's it's there. It's there. It's in the code. They they have it ready to go. So on, on uh, when they either drop the trailer or you know celebration happens, they can just push a button and turn it on. Celebration's you know? awesome. So celebration. Well, we'll see. We'll see how awesome it is this year. <laughs> yeah, usually it's usually celebration is pretty good. It's gonna be interesting to see how um, the the fans are this year compared to previous. I just love watching the cosplay. Yeah, the cosplays always. And good. then well, it wasn't because of celebration, but those Kenner cosplays you had up with the the Kenner cosplays with the the Darth Vader and, and Obi Wan. Oh my God, that was I think they that was were actually Tekoshokan in Pittsburgh. I think it was Teko, where they actually had like Kenner style. But I, I love looking for. at the costumes. The costumes what make it pretty awesome. So anyway. Yeah. So um, anyway, uh, we're gonna wrap this one up. Balance of the Force, probably uh, later this year, probably. Maybe, um, possibly. Maybe, and, maybe you know, possibly. Will people go see it? That's the big question, right? Do people care? Do people care? Everybody's dead. Do people care? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So this has been Clownfish. The logo's Fish. purple. The logo is purple. That is interesting. So do they care? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. They should make it. They should make it green like the milk in the last year. No, let's, I don't want to even remember that. <laughs> anyway, right, yes. talk to you later. We'll talk later, guys. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.